As of right now, data has shown us that a massive earthquake swarm is currently hitting Yellowstone National Park. The sensors around the park show us that activity is currently picking up. The United States Geological Survey has just announced that there's been a 2.8 magnitude earthquake hit Yellowstone, along with various others that measure in the region of 1 to 3 magnitude. The data revealed to us that the earthquakes came in bursts, but the same as before, some of the records shows that they're not being reported on, but the ones that are being reported on are being downplayed. One of the regions that was hit was that of Yellowstone Lake. Yellowstone Lake is of interest to researchers, not only because it's the largest elevated lake in North America, measuring at over 7,000 feet or 2,100 meters, but because geological researchers in the area have said that two volcanic vents are rising again. In the past two hours, several earthquakes have hit the Yellowstone caldera. People have been commenting about the earthquakes, with one person saying the following. There's definitely been an increase of earthquakes hitting Yellowstone. I can feel them from where I am. The swarms coming in today is definitely something that researchers should be keeping an eye on. Well, this person said the following. I'm keeping up to date with this by watching all the graphs, and there's just been a 2.6 magnitude earthquake hit the park. I've also been told by a few friends who are up there that there's been an increase in steam vents. Another user commented the following. I live very close to Yellowstone National Park, and there's already been 31 earthquakes that's already been recorded so far. I don't think I've ever seen this many earthquakes light up the area before. Various different regions around Yellowstone have started to light up today, with the data showing that it's not just one region that's being hit by these swarms. As of right now, over 60 earthquakes have hit the region. The red circles show the most recent earthquakes that have hit Yellowstone, with the most recent one happening just 37 minutes ago. The data is showing us that several earthquakes measuring at over 2 in magnitude have hit Yellowstone. A 2.6 magnitude earthquake just hit west of Yellowstone. Interestingly, last week several earthquakes hit the same region, with one measuring in at over 3.9 in magnitude. Last year, a 6.1 earthquake was recorded in Yellowstone County, Montana, again sparking rumours as to whether these earthquakes were having a direct effect on the National Park. Another earthquake was recorded in Yellowstone, and that was measured to be 3.3. Other people who looked into the data that's provided by the United States Geological Survey did say that some of it was missing. For example, they said that some of the days only showed a few hours of that day, and the rest of it was left out. This in turn caused some to ask whether some information was being held back. Although the United States Geological Survey has said these small tremors are common across the Yellowstone National Park, others are more interested in the larger magnitude earthquakes that are being detected around the same areas asking why these haven't been covered by park officials and news outlets. Grass of Yellowstone, though, have shown that after being hit by these earthquakes, it showed us that it did have some effect on the park, as magma was seen to be moving. Some have said that the United States Geological Survey is not telling people about these earthquakes, and they're doing this on purpose, while others have said the reason they're not showing people their data is because it's not important and that Yellowstone National Park gets hit by many earthquakes on a yearly basis. Regardless, some have found it strange why some of this information is being held back, and not reported on. Last year, researchers from the United States Geological Survey said the following. There's been three eruptions of the steamboat during this period. It's been an eventful month for seismic activity in the western USA with a magnitude 5.7 earthquake near Salt Lake City, Utah, and this was on March 18th, and a magnitude 6.5 earthquake in central Idaho on the 31st of March. These earthquakes are caused by tectonic extension on the region, and as of right now they won't have a significant impact on the Yellowstone system. 
some strong earthquakes in the region, like the 1983 magnitude 6.9 Bora Peak, and 1959 magnitude 7.3 earthquakes have impacted geyser behaviour, but this is due to the responses on the shallow and fragile geyser channels to shaking. Another piece of news to come out of Yellowstone last year was that over 50 seismic trackers around Yellowstone picked up unusual activity. Another recent study has shown researchers that the Yellowstone volcano is sitting on top of a hotspot, and this means that every so often magma starts to rise to the surface. Rather worryingly, scientists have said that should an earthquake occur, it would take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction is triggered. Right now though, people are watching the data as it comes in. One user said the following, I live in a magma zone that is really close to Yellowstone National Park, and I have to say that watching these live feeds come in is a little concerning, especially considering that if she does blow, I'll definitely be one of the first to go. Well, this person said the following, I know that we usually get a lot of activity around Yellowstone, and I know that earthquakes are quite common, but there seems to be more than normal hitting the region. The United States Geological Survey has said they haven't received any warning signs that the volcano is going to erupt, and said these extended earthquakes are not uncommon. Tests have shown scientists that if the supervolcano were to erupt, it would be roughly 10,000 times larger in estimated cubic kilometres than that of the eruption at Mount St. Helens. Additionally, the Yellowstone supervolcano lies close to a number of sensitive fault lines, and these are all across the west coast. It's believed that this massive amount of pressure released in one moment, coupled with the massive amount of force generated via the super eruption, will create a domino effect of seismic activity that could lead to fault lines completely sliding in opposite directions, causing a number of massive earthquakes all across the west coast. The earthquakes would be some of the largest ever to have been recorded, and would only lead to further damage of roads, highways, cities and nearby constructions. So what do you make of this recent swarm hitting Yellowstone? And is there anyone that lives close by? If so, can you feel these earthquakes? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.